So um, moving on from that, so how did the implementation process go? And really right from the planning phase through to aftercare. Okay. Um, yeah, it was an interesting time. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'd, I'd want to do it again immediately, but um, I think overall, if I'll, I'll kind of go into more detail, but overall it went smoothly and I was, I was happy with how it went. Um, it was the first time for me changing a system um, over. So um, as I was kind of driving it our side, I was slightly nervous at times, just making sure that ticking all the boxes and, and make sure covering everything off that we needed to do. Um, but I felt that the process was kind of well organized from an easy build point of view. Um, they were happy to kind of handhold, I suppose, where needed and just kind of make sure that we were keeping on on track with kind of where we needed to be and, and what we needed to do. Um, we obviously had training days which vary depending on what modules you go for. Um, and I think they worked. I think we we had a little bit of a challenge and other businesses will be the same in terms of when you're in a meeting room doing training on a system on a screen, certain people will engage and see where you're trying to get to. Other people aren't used to learning in that kind of environment maybe. so maybe after half an hour, the attention goes a little bit and you what you assume people are, are taking in, actually, when you then come to, to actually testing it, it turns out that not as much has gone in as you thought. Um, but I think that's just that's just dependent on the people. So one thing I did suggest uh, to Franco at the time um, was maybe with the training and stuff, it, it might help sometimes if there are laptops available that that could be brought out to the session so people can actually have a go um, while you're doing the training because I think people generally learn better that way. 